Welcome back, my friends. Listen to this. There is a way that we can all help the family of Jameson Dowd, a second grader fighting a brain tumor. I am so delighted to have the principal of St. Michael's Lutheran Church and School, Charles Shaveriat, joining me. Thank you so much for being here. How are you? Thank you for having me here. Yeah. It's a pleasure being here and a great opportunity. I want you to tell me a little bit about Jameson. So Jameson is one of our beloved second grade yes. students here at St. Michael's Lutheran School in Richville. Um, he started a great year off and we're excited to have all of our students including yes. him. Um, and uh, he just uh, had a uh, brain cancer um, which he received treatment for most recently at uh, Mott um, down in Ann Arbor. Yes. So he has been recovering okay. from his initial surgeries yeah. and is back at home recovering right now before further treatment. Oh, that's good. So how is he doing now? How is he? So he's, he's made it through the first few days and okay. his family has been very appreciative of all the support that they've received from the community as well as from the church and the school families and our surrounding communities as well. And there he is, the sweet baby Jameson right there. You are holding a special fundraiser for Jameson. Tell us about that. Yes, so next Sunday on the 22nd we are holding an all-you-can-eat spaghetti dinner okay. um, with all the fixings, so we encourage everyone to come yes. out for that. Along with that spaghetti dinner, we're also doing a silent auction, um, which we encourage people to come out and help support Jameson and his family. Yeah. Um, those benef those um, funds will benefit yeah. his family, okay. helping to cover medical and travel costs. Yeah, what do you want our friends out there to know about Jameson and his family? Jameson is a great kid. He loves to read. He loves everything about school. Yes. Um, and he's just he's a joy to see coming in the morning um, every day. He loves to be with his friends, and so um, just missing him from the school is, is uh, there's a gap there. Yeah. So we'd love to have him come back as soon as possible yes. um, and be able to support his family. Um, our church and school have been a big blessing yes. to them, and we hope that that continues as well, along with all of our other Lutheran schools that have yes. been helping out as well. And I know the community has really just rallied around Jameson and his family. Talk to me about how that is just impacting his recovery because I know you the prayer is so important faith and just believing that you know what you're gonna be okay yeah we have a miracle healer yeah. in our in our Savior Jesus and yes. so that's an opportunity for us to just rally around um, his parents have talked countlessly about how prayer has been that yes. that miracle healer and so um, we thank everybody for all of that prayer that has been lifted up for him and his family um, the community has just continued to surround this family and him, um, and it's so touching and amazing to see the outpouring of support that have come from all sorts of people and organizations in our community yeah. um, to really see how people really can set aside everything that happens and, and reach out in yes. love for yes. these for Jameson and his yeah. family and, and everything that he's about. They really need to feel that. You know, Jameson and your family we are praying for you and we are holding you up in prayer and just knowing that you are going to be okay keep fighting you are a fighter and god is right there with you thank you for joining me i appreciate you thank you so much for this opportunity of course we'll have all this information on our website wnam.com about the fundraiser if you have any ideas on what you'd like to see on our show you can send them to us at wnam-4pmnews at wnam.com just use the subject 4pm news spotlight